Hey guys, I'm Adam with Amtac Suppressors. I came out to the ranch today to answer another customer question. Uh, the person wanted to know what suppressor do we recommend for 224 Valkyrie? And we honestly didn't have an answer for him because we've never shot one of our suppressors on a 224. It's a really new cartridge still, and there's only a few companies making rifles for them. Uh, luckily, our friends at JP are one of them, and they sent us a beautiful uh, SCR 11 that has the non-reciprocating side charge and handle on it. Uh, if you ever get a chance to shoot one of these things, try it out because it is beautiful. Uh, unfortunately, this one in particular has a pretty long gas system on it, which means there's not going to be enough exposed barrel there to use one of our over barrel suppressors. So we're only going to be able to test with end barrel suppressors. So what we have here is a SBR 556, which is our end barrel uh, 223 can. And we have a new Mantis E, which is our end barrel 30 cal can. And we have a half 28 to 5 inch 24 thread adapter in there so we can screw it onto the rifle. Uh, I also do not have a 6.8 SPC magazine uh, which means I'm gonna have to single load this thing but you know whatever we'll work through it uh, so for reference here we are shooting Federal Fusion which is a 90 grain bullet at 2700 feet per second and we have our standard testing setup here which is a mic three feet to the left of the stand that we rest the suppressor in uh, which is kind of standard you know mill testing and then I have a little reference point there that I can put that against the bottom of the stock and that will uh, put the mic at the shooter's ear so it'll be the same location for every single shot and uh, yes I'm aware that there's no optic on here it's really weird to shoot a rifle without an optic but there, there's a whole mountain in front of me I promise you these things are going in a safe direction so the mic is set and let's see what happens uh, 136.8 for the first shot with the 556 cam And we're just going to do three at each location with each can. Uh, 135.6 because we don't have a whole lot of ammo. And 131.7. Alright, now we're going to go over to the ear. Bring a couple pieces with me. Like I said, there's a whole mountain down there, I promise you. 131 or 130.1 for that one. One thirty-four point nine. And 134.7. So, empty. And now we're going to take off this guy. We're going to put on the Mantis suppressor. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Uh, they're very different baffle structures. The 556 suppressor is a much more closed baffle structure. It's really pressure sensitive, uh, but it works great for um, pretty much everything up to a 22250 that we've shot it on. Uh, the 30 cal suppressor, because it has to work on everything from a 300 blackout to 300 wind mag, is a little bit more open baffle structure, a little more turbulent. And uh, we'll see how it does here. Alright, we're all set. Uh, 141.6. So off to the side, it looks like it's probably going to be a few decibels louder. We'll see what happens with the rest of these. Uh, 136.7 and 137.8 so a couple decibels louder off to the side on average Grab three more and we'll go over to the ear Uh, 130.2 130.8 .2. 130 and yes it's every bit as awkward as it looks to shoot the rifle like this 
This is definitely not a uh, look cool test. And 132.5. Luckily, there's about zero recoil in this thing. So, there it is. Um, pretty darn similar at the ear uh, within a decibel or two. Threshold for human hearing is about three decibels. So, anything beyond three decibels, you can usually tell the difference. Most people, once you're within uh, inside of three, about two decibels, most people cannot actually tell which shot is louder than the other one. So, um, man, I mean, it sounds great. Uh, I would probably recommend the 556 can if you're only going to run it on this rifle. So, if you, it's one of those, you know, what suppressor is best for you, right? If you're going to run it on a bunch of stuff, definitely go with that Mantis E. You can shoot that thing all the way up to a 300 Win Mag, and you can shoot it on this guy. It's going to suffer a little bit in performance off to the side, but at the ear, it was pretty darn close. And uh, just for frame of reference here show you guys what 132 decibels sounds like that's 137 it's pretty nice so if you guys have any questions about any of this uh, go ahead and leave them up in the comments and for anything else you can visit us at amtaxsuppressors.com